Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and many of you have been asking me recently if the iPhone 10 is better than the iPhone 8 Plus. This is a pretty subjective question, and many of you have been asking me this lately, but I thought I'd try and answer it in this video. So let's take a look. Now, the first thing is obvious whether or not you think the iPhone 10 is better, and that has to do with its design. You may like this design, you might not. Some people really love it, some people hate it. The notch is pretty controversial on the iPhone 10. I actually like it, I think it looks unique and different, but some people really hate it, and that's why you've got a choice now. I don't know if Apple did that because they didn't have enough iPhone 10s or just weren't sure if people would like it or not. I like the thinner bezels, but if you prefer the fingerprint reader, obviously you're going to stick with the iPhone 8 or 8 Plus. Now, the materials are a little bit different between the two phones. This is stainless steel on the iPhone 10. So the outside edge ring here is stainless steel. And then we have glass front and back, just like we do on the 8 Plus, but this is aluminum instead of steel. So that overall material difference, uh, stainless steel and aluminum. It's whichever one you prefer really and whether or not you think that's better. Now the similarities between the two devices are many. Most of that has to do with specs and things like that. So all of the same things are inside. The A11 Bionic chip, the three core GPU, three gigabytes of RAM. We also have very similar front facing cameras. In fact, they're identical as far as the specs go. And then the rear facing cameras are identical with the exception of the secondary lenses. So we have dual optical image stabilization on the 10 and the secondary lens on the eight plus is an F 2.8 57 millimeter. Whereas the iPhone 10 has an F 2.4 52 millimeter with optical image stabilization. That's the differences as far as the overall specs between the two devices. Now, as far as whether or not touch ID is better than face ID, that's going to be very much up to you. I've had a conversation recently with some people about this and some people think it's a huge feature. That's great. Uh, I don't think it's a big deal. I actually prefer touch ID between the two, but it's just my preference. Some people love it. Some people hate it. So if you unlock the phone with touch ID, it's incredibly fast. If you swipe up, that's also fast, but there's a slight delay between the two. So it's just depends on what your preference is. There's no right answer here. It's whichever one you like face ID is supposedly much more secure and it probably will get much faster over time, but in its current iteration, it's fine, but it's just going to be up to you, which one you like. So that leads us to the displays. The display on the iPhone 10 is technically higher resolution is an OLED display. So the display is 2436 by 1125 in 5.8 inches diagonally. We also have 458 pixels per inch. So it's more pixel density. It's supposedly clearer, but at this pixel density, it's hard to tell the difference. Really anything over about 300 pixels per inch, you can't really see with the naked eye, not very easily anyway. And if you have really good vision, you have to bring it up nice and close, really, really close to your face in order to be able to see that. So it's not something that you're going to necessarily notice, but you will notice that there are deeper blacks with the iPhone 10. There's also more vibrant colors with the iPhone 10. That's just the nature of the OLED panel that's in the 10. However, some people like myself, some OLED panels tend to hurt your eyes or make them feel more strained when you're looking at them. So that's going to be a consideration. So whether or not the display is better, technically the display is better on the iPhone 10. However, you can't really see the pixels. And if you're not very picky about displays, you won't care at all. You'll just be happy with either or the 1080p display on the iPhone eight plus is more than good enough. Now, many people want to know is the battery better on the iPhone 10? Technically it's bigger. It's 2716 when it comes to the milliamp hours and 2691 on the eight plus. So it's slightly bigger. It's in an L shape and it lasts for me, I would say a little bit longer than the eight plus. But if you use it all day and plug it in at night, I don't think you're going to have an issue between the two. I think they're very comparable when it comes to that. They both have wireless charging, so you can use that or plug it in and they charge about the same and they last about the same, not identical, but really close. They both feel very fast because of the same processors. So really when it comes down to it, it's more of a decision between the price, the design, that secondary camera, face ID and an emoji really in the display, of course, are those things better on the iPhone 10 in some aspects they are, but does that make it worth that extra 150 plus dollars? 
That's really up to you. On paper, yes, it's better when it comes to certain specifications. If you're talking about speed, it's not better. If you're talking about the display, technically it's better. If you're talking about the camera, technically it's better. It's all really up to what you prefer versus what what someone tells you. So don't always listen to what someone's telling you. Listen to what works best for you. Look at both of them. If you have one available in the local store, if you have electronic stores or an Apple store nearby, go check them out, play around with them and see which one you like better. The gestures on the iPhone 10, I really like, you may not like them. You might prefer pushing the home button for everything. There's not really a right answer here as far as that part, as far as choosing, but if one is better than the other, technically the iPhone 10 is better when it comes to some of its specs. I'm not sure that I can say it's $150 better. In fact, I don't think that it is. I think it should be the same price as the 8 Plus. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.